The machine is a JLG 1500SJ. Those who intend to use any machine with characteristics of weight, height, width, length or complexity which differ significantly to the training they have received should ensure that they receive a familiarisation to cover the differences. It is the employer's responsibility to ensure that all operators using equipment are adequately trained and familiarised to comply with current health and safety legislation. Machine specific familiarisation should follow on from basic training and cover the manufacturer's instructions and warnings, features of the specific model, control functions, safety devices and emergency lowering procedures. All of the above are to be found in the operator's manual supplied with the machine. Operating specifications are Platform height, unrestricted capacity, 150 foot or 45.75 metres Restricted capacity, 130 foot or 39.67 metres Horizontal reach, unrestricted capacity, 80 foot or 24.38 metres and restricted capacity, 64 foot 11 inches or 19.79 metres For other dimensional data please refer to the operating manual in the operating specifications page. Your machine has two capacities, unrestricted and restricted. These are identified in the operating manual. Unrestricted is 230 kilograms. Restricted is 450 kilograms. The maximum travel grade stowed is 40% for driving up and down a slope. Maximum travel grade stowed is five degrees when driving across a slope. Before using the machine, you must carry out a pre-start inspection as identified in the operator's manual. If you do find a fault, isolate, tag and report the machine. Do not attempt any repairs to the machine. Make sure the copy of the operation and safety manual is located in the black box and that it is legible. This should include checking the machine for cleanliness, looking for any leaks, any foreign objects, structure, inspecting the machine for dents, damaged welds, metal cracks, decals, check all for cleanliness and legibility, make sure none of the decals are missing and make sure that they are legible, ensuring that the battery is in good condition, secured, make sure you've got sufficient fuel, this will be indicated on your control panel, engine oil, hydraulic oil, accessories or attachments. Check the condition of wheels, wheel nuts, check the condition of welds to ensure that there is no damage or cracks on welds. If a malfunction is discovered with the machine, it must be immediately isolated, tagged and removed from service. Do not attempt any repairs as these must only be carried out by qualified technicians. Hydraulic ramping. Your machine may have hydraulic ramping built into it by design. This means that the machine may not stop immediately when a controller is released. Ground control station. The indicator panels use different shaped symbols to alert the operator to different types of operational situations that could arise. This would indicate a potentially hazardous situation, which if not corrected, could result in serious injury or death. This indicator will be red. This indicates an abnormal operating condition, which if not corrected, may result in machine interruption or damage. This indicator will be yellow. This would indicate important information regarding the operating condition. This indicator will be green, with the exception of the capacity indicator, which will be green and yellow, depending upon the platform position. Indicator panel. Jib telescope control, platform rotate, platform leveling override, jib lift, engine start, auxiliary power switch and function enable, power and emergency stop switch, hour meter, the platform and ground select switch, lift control, swing control, Main telescope control. Boom control system test button. 
No alternator output indicator. Low engine oil pressure indicator. High engine temperature indicator. Engine oil temperature indicator. Glow plug indicator. Axles set indicator. Platform capacity indicator. Boom control system warning indicator. Boom control system calibrated indicator. Platform overload indicator. Platform control console. Drive speed torque select. Steer select. Platform leveling override. Axle extend and retract. Horn. Indicator panel. Boom control select. Power and emergency stop. Start auxiliary power. Capacity select. Drive orientation override. Drive steer control. The main telescope. Lights. Jib lift. Soft touch and sky guard override switch. Jib stow. Jib telescope. Soft touch sky guard indicator. Platform rotate. Lock pin indicator. Function speed control. Main lift swing controller. The level system fault indicator, AC generator if equipped, platform overload indicator, platform capacity indicator, tilt alarm warning light, glow plug, the enable indicator, fuel level indicator, creep speed indicator, system distress indicator, Cable service indicator. Drive orientation indicator. Axle set indicator. Boom control system warning indicator. The fuel shutoff system monitors the fuel in the fuel tank and senses when the fuel level is getting low. The JLG control system automatically shuts the engine down before the fuel tank is emptied unless the machine is set up for engine restart. If the fuel level reaches the low fuel range, the quarter tank indicator will flash once a second and there will be approximately 5 minutes of engine run time left. LCD display panel The machine utilises an LCD display panel to assist the operator by supplying additional information during the operation of the machine. The LCD display panel is not a substitute for the operation and safety manual, nor is it a replacement for thorough operator knowledge of the machine. When the machine is first powered on, the boot up splash screen appears. The screen contains several reminders for the operator. There is a reminder for the operator to wear a full body harness with a lanyard attached to the authorised anchorage point. There is also a reminder for the operator to read and understand the operator and safety manual and a reminder for the operator to select the desired capacity range. In addition, the display also uses a yellow circle and arrows to indicate the location of the capacity to select switch and the available options for moving the switch. The default screen appears after the boot screen. If there are no faults present in the JLG control system, the display shows an indication of the fuel level, battery voltage and the engine RPM. In addition, a check mark in a green circle indicates there are no serviceable faults are present. The foot switch open screen appears if the JLG control system has sensed a fault that is due to the operator having the foot switch open. In this condition, no functions are operable as shown by the red X's on the display screen. The screen will remain until the operator releases the restricted function. The operator can then operate the function by pushing the foot switch and operating the function again. We must operate all functions and ensure that proper operation. Select a test area that is firm, level and free of obstructions. 
If the machine is not in a safe area that is free from obstructions, please report to your supervisor or manager and have the machine moved to a more suitable area. From the ground control console, put the key into the ground control mode and with no load in the platform, check that all guards protecting the switches or locks are in place. Ensure that all machine functions are disabled when the emergency stop button is pushed in. Ensure all boom functions stop when the function enable switch is released. Perform the following check with no load in the platform from the ground control station. Turn the key to the platform and pull out the emergency stop from the ground control panel. Climb into the platform and extend all axles fully using the axle extend procedure. Climb out of the platform and return to the ground control panel. With the boom fully retracted, raise the main boom off the boom rest until it is horizontal. Position the jib horizontal and ensure it is fully retracted and straight. Now using the telescope out function, extend the boom until it stops. Boom must stop on the colour stripe matching the capacity indicator. If the boom does not stop on the correct stripe, the system must be repaired immediately. Isolate, tag and report the machine. Push and hold the grey boom control system test button on the ground control panel. The lighting of the green boom control system calibrated indicator indicates the system is functioning properly. No indicator light or the lighting of the red boom control system warning indicator indicates the system must be repaired immediately by authorised service personnel. In this situation the machine must be immediately isolated, tagged and reported. Your machine may be fitted with machine safety system override. This is only to be used to retrieve an operator that is either pinned, trapped or unable to operate the machine and function controls are locked out. This could be due from the platform being overloaded or other situations. If the MSSO functionality is used, the fault indicator will flash and a fault code is set in the JLG control system which must be reset by a qualified service technician. The JLG control system will set a diagnostic trouble code if the control switch is faulty. To operate the MSSO from the ground control console place the platform ground control select switch into the ground control position. Pull out the red emergency stop. Start the engine. Press and hold the MSO switch and the control switch for the desired function. Ensure that the control console is fully secured in the proper location. Check all guards protecting the switches or locks are in place. Operate all functions ensure proper operation. Ensure that all machine functions are disabled when the emergency stop button is pushed in. Ensure that all machine functions stop when the foot switch is released. The machine has proportional controls, which mean when released they will automatically return to the neutral position. When the boom is swung over the rear tyres or further in any direction, the drive orientation indicator will illuminate when the drive function is selected. You may find that your machine is in the jib stowed position. The jib stowed button allows the jib to be taken out of the transport position and into machine use. The switch also allows for the jib to be returned to the stowed position for transportation. With the platform in the stowed position, drive the machine onto a slope, not to exceed the rated gradeability, and stop to ensure that the brakes hold. Check that the tilt indicator is illuminated 
to ensure proper operation. Your boom is equipped with a oscillating axle. The front axle will oscillate when the boom is in the transport position. To perform this test, ensure the axles are extended and the boom is fully retracted, lowered and centered between the rear wheels prior to beginning this test. Place a six inch high block in front of the left front wheel. Drive up onto the block until the left front wheel is on top of the block. Carefully extend the boom just enough to get out of transport position. Now carefully drive off the block. Have an assistant check to see if the left front or right rear wheels remains in the elevated position and off the ground. Carefully return the boom to the transport position. When the boom reaches the transport position, carefully activate drive to release the cylinder. The lockout cylinder should release and allow the wheel to rest on the ground. Now repeat the procedure for the right wheel. If lockout cylinders do not function properly, isolate, tag and report the machine to your supervisor or manager. When the boom control is positioned to automatic, lift and telescope movements are coordinated by the JLG control system and the automatic platform leveling feature is active during lift, telescope, swing and drive movements. While operating lift up, the boom may also telescope out. When operating lift down, the boom may also telescope in. While operating swing or drive, the boom may lift up or lower down. While operating telescope in, the boom may lower down when at high boom angles and when the creep light is flashing. Manual mode. When the boom control is positioned to manual, lift and telescope movements are controlled separately by the operator and the automatic platform leveling feature is active only during lift functions. Please note, when positioned to manual, boom functions will be stopped when the envelope limits are reached. When this occurs, operate a different function or select the automatic position. Please note, depending upon the angle of the chassis and the angle of the boom, swing left or swing right may be disallowed while in the manual mode. The BCS light will illuminate and further attempts to swing in the disallowed direction will cause the BCS to flash. When this occurs, the only choice are to swing in the opposite direction or switch to automatic mode. Stability. Machine stability is based on two conditions which are called forward and backward stability. To avoid forwards or backwards tipping, do not overload the machine or operate the machine on an out of level surface. Remove all load and allow the engine to operate at low speed for three to five minutes. This allows reduction of internal engine temperatures. Push in the emergency stop switch, turn the key from either platform or ground position to the off position and remove the key to secure the machine and prevent unauthorized operation. SkyGuard is used to provide enhanced control panel protection. When the SkyGuard sensor is activated, functions that were in use at the time will either be reversed or cut out. The SkyGuard system is designed as an enhanced control panel protection. When activated, the system stops the functions in use at the time of the activation and also activates the horn. In some cases, the function in use at the time of activation will also be momentarily reversed. If equipped, an optional flashing strobe light will also be activated. The system activates when the sensor bar in the platform experiences a force of approximately 22.7 kilograms or 50 pounds. The SkyGuard override switch is located on the platform control console. Pressing and holding the switch will allow the function stopped by the SkyGuard system to be operated again. When pressure is removed from the sensor bar, functions can be resumed by removing your foot from the foot switch and putting it back on. This will reactivate the controls. The SkyGuard system does not affect machine functions when operating from the ground control station.